everyone. Um, I'm Catherine. Um, for this podcast project, I am focusing on a passage that is found in the House and Turk Street chapter. Um, this specific passage can be found on page 115 in the book. Um, just a couple of problematic themes that I want to discuss. Um, mainly, the main theme that I want to um, talk about is the some of the racist language that Hammett uses throughout his book. Um, in this specific example, um, it is much more obvious to the reader, or at least it was to me. Um, and so I'm going to start reading on page 115 from the second paragraph. Through the other door, the door that gave to the next room, popped Mrs. Quar, an enormous cock revolver in her thin hand. Let it let go it, you nasty heathen, she screeched. Ty dropped his pistol before he turned to face her, and he held his hands up high, all of which was very wise. Thomas Quar came through the hall door then. He also held a cocked revolver, the maid of his wife's, though in front of his bulk he didn't look so enormously large. I looked at the old woman again, and found little of the friendly, fragile one who had poured tea and chatted about the neighbors. This was a witch if there ever was one, a witch of the blackest, most malignant sort. Her little faded eyes were sharp with ferocity, her withered lips were taut in a wolfish snarl, and her thin body fairly quivered with hate. I knew it, she was shrilling. I told Tom as soon as we got far enough away to think things over. I knew it was a frame-up. I knew this supposed detective was a pal of yours. I knew it was just a scheme to beat Thomas and me out of our shares. Well, I'll show you, you yellow monkey. Where are them bonds? Where are they? The Chinese had recovered his poise, if he had ever lost it. So, here, she is shrieking, screaming at Ty, um, and she specifically calls him a yellow monkey, um, because Ty is Chinese, um, a, f a, I want to say, a term that was frequently used in a derogatory manner towards Asians um, is like yellow or like or yellow monkey and that's what she uses here um, and I felt like this was a very deliberate thing done by Hammett um, here Hammett is using the language of yellow monkey and nasty heathen as a way to differentiate Mrs. Quar from Ty. Um, and this brings up the, the narrative of the us and them um, argument excuse me, which is basically um, everything that defines you as a person um, is good and righteous and completely okay, but the othering of the other person, whether it be a different ethnicity or race, um, it differentiates between the two. And there's often dehumanization that takes place, which you can see here because she calls him a monkey. And that dehumanizing language was making it easier for her to act out that way and kind of 
um, kind of defend or make it seem like she's doing the right thing. Um, we also have to keep in mind her state of mind here. She is all about the money and she only wants the bonds. She just wants to get hold of the money and get away. So perhaps this was a... Using that language against Ty would have made it easier for her to acquire that. But... On the next page, she continues. Thomas, for goodness sakes, don't stand there dreaming, she snapped at her husband, who, to all appearances, was still the same mild old man who had given me an excellent cigar. Tie up this Chinaman. I don't trust him an inch, and I won't feel easy until he's tied up. So here you also see... Um, Mrs. Cora referring to Ty, not by his name, but by his race. And she also adds in that she doesn't trust him, probably because she feels cheated by Ty and the detective, because at this point she thinks both Ty and the detective are partners and are working against her. But this was just an example, one, one more example of the racial language that Hammett uses. And if you look farther down, it says, Ty had dropped the gun that had been in his hand, but he hadn't been searched. The Chinese are a thorough people. If one of them carries a gun at all, he usually carries two or three or more. One gun had been taken from Ty, and if they tried to truss him up without frisking him, there was likely to be fireworks. So I moved to one side. Fat Thomas Quar went phlegmatically up to the Chinese to carry out his wife's orders and bungled the job perfectly. Okay, so... I this whole page... Every time the OP is describing Ty, he doesn't describe him by his name. He does, but he doesn't do it every single time. He just says, see, he keeps saying the Chinese, the Chinese, and then... Further down the page, he says, once more, Ty ran true to racial form. So he had established this perception of Ty, which could have turned out to be incorrect. But once the OP saw that Ty actually did have more guns on him, as was originally expected, he left it up to race um, because it was common form for the Chinese to carry two or three guns. This is why the OP had more than one on him and he ran true to his racial form. So although I don't know why Hammett is deliberately um, using this type of language I don't know if it was a thing of the times because of the specific time period that this is the book is placed in. Um, even before in like the very first chapter, um, when they were describing Tijuana, they were describing it as a dirty place, a a dingy grungy, um, run-down place. So, I mean, you could definitely see the differentiation that is taking place in this, 
in this chapter, as well as the whole book, because this isn't the only instance that it happens. But, and also, um, he also uses a lot of fat shaming, even though we have um, read that the OP himself is fat. Um, he consistently just, I don't know if it's just haven't using it as a way to describe the character and to present the image of the character as a much, e as a much easier way for the reader to picture them in their mind, um, by giving the details, but even, even in this, even in the same passage you see you see um, the OP remarking on the bulk of Thomas Core and how the revolver didn't look so enormously large in front of him because Thomas was so large compared to his wife. And it, I don't know, it's just a lot of problematic language usage that is seen. Um, I don't know if this was explicitly deliberate by Hammett or if Hammett was using this language from the viewpoint of the OP. So it wasn't like he was saying it, but it's like the OP is. But either way, um, this is just one example of, of many that happened throughout the book, so.